Hey, Rick Usabel again from Cabaret Design Group, talking today about long draw draft beer system design. Now that we know a little bit more about how glycol systems operate, the true advantage of them is that they offer a foolproof method of delivering a beer at a temperature from the walk-in cooler, environmentally controlling it all the way. What's nice about the glycol systems is that they're good up to 750 feet, some of them. Now, Micromatic will go up to 750 feet, their trunk lines can be anywhere from, say, four products to 20 products. Perlick, for instance, will go up to 24 products. So as you get up into the higher density lines, there's more engineering that goes into it and more considerations for how it's installed exactly, which can tend to be a little different than the typical run-of-the-mill A product line sets here. But suffice it to say that if you have a properly sized power pack, you could run as many as three trunk lines in three different locations, each up to 750 feet in length. The beauty of this system is that, well, economy of scale for one, you have one investment in the power pack, you have all sorts of capacity, you can, in theory, push up to 60 products out of this power pack, for instance. And uh, the other thing that's nice about it is, is that with the length of the system that we're talking about in terms of capacity, 750 feet, for instance, now you can actually have options for where you place your walk-in cooler. So if you have this type of a system, you now could take your walk-in cooler and place it outside the building, for instance, or in another part of your building which is less impactful on your operations. So now you can turn this into more productive space, which is revenue producing. So you have all kinds of advantages in a glycol system. Another advantage in the glycol systems is a tremendous amount of tower designs that are available. Everywhere you go nowadays, you see all these tremendously fancy towers that people are uh, enchanted by, and I'm showing a few of them right here. And these are just a few examples of what are available on the market, but sky's the limit just about. And uh, for instance, even like Micromat, they have a, a specialist department which will custom design a tower to meet your needs. So you have all the flexibility of expanding the system. You have the fashion sort of aspect of design of the, of the towers themselves. You have the flexibility of placing the equipment in, in many places. These are advantages you don't have with any other system. Of course, they're a little more expensive. A, for instance, a 16 product line system, like I'm showing here in this front bar, two towers of eight products each. Well, this, the cost of the system would be about $1,000 a product line. So for 16 products, you're probably talking with installation somewhere in the neighborhood of sixteen to twenty thousand dollars which really isn't bad there's some ongoing maintenance that's true but you have a, a fairly reliable system in place here that's environmentally controlled and by the way one other thing i'll mention about walk-in coolers if you're really going to manage a a really good draft beer system especially if it's a glycol system you want to keep the integrity of your beer at the highest possible priority so therefore, really what you should do is dedicate a walk-in cooler exclusively for your draft beer so that you don't put your, make the mistake of putting your case beer in there and having people go in and out of this walk-in cooler all day or all night long, whereby maintaining that the ideal temperature within the cooler becomes sort of a pipe dream because you really need to keep this cooler in the 36 to 38 degree Fahrenheit range, or it just simply isn't going to perform, and then your glycol system really is suffering for it, and your investment really is sort of wasted. So 
keep a high priority on placing your draft beer in a designated walk-in cooler and have another walk-in cooler for your bottle beer and another one also for your food. So in any size of an operation, you'll see multiple walk-in coolers for that reason. So basically that's it. You have a really good system, has great capacity, great engineering, great reliability in terms of delivering the product at the right temperature, everything you need when you look at a glycol system.